removing the lever valve assembly on an LV2. First thing you will need to do in order to gain access to the lever valve is to remove the frame assembly, the complete frame assembly. You can see instructions in the video here on how to do that. Once you remove, remove the frame assembly, you need to remove the eye covers to gain access to the mounting screws. Remove both of those. I'm doing the clips. Then need to uh, remove the solenoid. Undo the two mounting screws for the solenoid. Lift off the solenoid assembly. See that the solenoid has actually come away with the gasket there. Gasket has to go in uh, the one way only. Uh, I'll show you how to do that when we reattach everything. Then actually easier just to remove the uh, the breach sensor as well. At this point, remove the breach breach sensor. Slide that underneath the underneath the air transfer pipe there. And need to take your driver and remove the four screws that hold the lever valve in place. Once you've removed those four screws, you can now take out the lever valve assembly. Give it a tap and that will fall out. And there's your lever valve assembly. Just uh, a push pin. Holds the assembly together, so be careful not to lose the pin as you take it apart. Then the critical part of this is that the lever will only operate in one direction. So the lever can be assembled in this direction or if you flip it by mistake it can be assembled incorrectly with it this way. The It's very very important that you only assemble this with the convex face of the lever towards the front of the marker and the concave, the large concave area, the back here, towards the back of the marker. If you assemble it incorrectly, with the lever the wrong way around, you'll find several things will happen. You'll have very low velocity, and you will also find that the bolt pin will quite often pop up each time you fire the marker. So as you pull the trigger, the bolt will move forwards, and then the bolt, bolt pin will shoot up. So it's critical that the lever assembly is in the correct orientation, which is like this in relation to the marker. Convex, large convex to the front, large concave to the rear. So I'm going to carefully reinsert this back in. So noting the orientation again, drop the lever assembly back into place in the pocket in the bottom of the body. Hold that in place while we put the screws back in. Come back and tighten them all up at the end. Just put them all in for now. Now just nip those all back up into place. Okay. 
Okay, and then we can now start reassembling. So red sensor always goes to the right, black to the left. So I'll just run that back into its trough there. I'll put the I cover back down, lock that into place. Turn it over, put the red wires, the red sensor back into the pocket there. Make sure the wires are set down correctly. Attach the eye cover. Lock that back into place. Then we need to put the solenoid back on. Again, need to pay particular attention to the gasket is that the holes in the gasket line up with the holes in the base of the manifold. So we have holes going to holes there. Okay. And then the solenoid can be reattached in place while you put the screws back in. Being careful not to over tighten them. that was removal and reattaching of the lever valve mechanism in an LV2.